Alrighty, so today I'm gonna open this Sears Craftsman Large Stockman for the first time. You can see it's in the clam packaging, the original. It's never been opened from what I can tell. Um, I know some people open them and then reseal them, try to pass it off as a never been opened package. But from what I can tell, this one seems pretty good. I got this off of eBay for around $35. You can see it used to retail for $12.99 and then went on sale for $6.49 back in the day probably in the 70s or 80s um, it, there's no indication on the packaging who made this knife uh, it just says sold by sears but didn't mention schrade or camillus or any other company but i think this one was made by camillus and i'll give you a couple reasons why but real quick this is one of the four knives in the series so you have the large stockman you have a, a single blade locking knife Kind of like a trapper style a scout utility knife and then a jack knife but all these were made in the united states um, has some cautions and then the warranty here i'll give you a full picture so you can pause and read it if you would like i think the model number is 95044 got carbon steel blades good for long long cutting long cutting life ideal for skinning and carving and then the plastic handles are Delrin. Cool. Alrighty, so let's do it. I'm gonna open this one with my Camilla Stockman. I'm gonna compare the Craftsman to this uh, Sears knife, and I'm just gonna open it from the bottom right here. Try to do this without damaging the packaging too much. So I think this is the best way to do it. I'm planning on keeping the packaging this time. I usually don't keep packaging, but for this one for sure, because it's older. Come on. There we go. All right, it's seen the light of day for the first time. So here we go. It has that nice kind of cream, white cream Delrin, that Sears Craftsman shield. It looks like these are uh, brass pins. You have brass liners. Not sure if the back springs are stainless or carbon, but you can see there's some like green oxidative. Oh, it's just like grease it comes right off just from being in the packaging so long. Look at that. Very nice. Got these three blades. I'm assuming nickel silver bolsters open this bad boy nice so you can see this clip point blade got that long pull oh yeah razor sharp razor sharp maybe not razor sharp because it's not cutting my hair but i can tell it's pretty sharp <laughs> so it says craftsman usa 95044 got the nice wedge nice point and then you have the sheep's foot. Nice. It's a little dirty, a little greasy, but that's common for these knives. I'm gonna put this one down so I can bring in the sheep's foot or the, the spay. Here's the spay. Yeah, all these blades are pretty sharp. No tang stamps on the sheep's foot and spay blade. Let's open all these. Here's a full look at the knife. Very clean inside, which is expected with a brand new knife. And like I said before, these are carbon steel blades. Yeah, carbon steel, high carbon steel blades. So these probably will patina after some time. Not really good snap because it's probably pretty gritty. For sure gonna have to clean this one up and polish it. Give you a quick look at it. Got those crimped blades, two back springs. And then the, the main reason why I think this one is a Camillus is because you can see, let's uh, should wipe this off. So right here, there's two liners right there. You can see it there. There's two liners back to back. 
And I've only seen that on Camillus knives. So take this Camillus, for example, pretty much the same knife, same stockman size. You have two liners on this side. So two liners right there, doubled up, and then two liners right there. Also, you don't have these crimped or pinched bolsters like you do see on Charade. I have a Charade 890T, which is pretty much the same knife, but only one liner on each side, so no double back-to-back -back liners. And then these bolsters are pinched a little more than the Sears and Camillus. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. So you can see Schrade's bolster is a little more pinched than these two. And then, like I said before, those back-to-back -back liners doubled up right there and right there. I think that's a pretty good giveaway that this Sears knife was made by Camillus. The only thing that kind of throws me off is I can really find many Camillus knives with a swedge like the Sears. And I can't really find any old timers that do that either. As you can see a swedge and there's no swedge. There's the old timer. Yeah. But they're very similar knives. Um, very, very similar for sure. I mean, if I didn't collect knives and I asked someone, someone would probably think that the same company made all three of these knives for sure. So there's all three together. Yeah. Same stockman. I really like this large stockman size for sure. But I do, I like how this one has that cream Delrin, a good addition. I don't think I have a cream Delrin Stockman in my collection yet, but I'm really excited. I'm going to use this knife lightly, so I'm going to clean it and then use it for mainly like cutting produce and food like that. I don't want to ruin this one, but I do want to use it. I like using my knives. I think I only have like two or three knives that I don't use because either my grandfather or dad gave them to me. And I don't want to lose them or um, wear them down anymore. But I use my GEC knives lightly. Um, I don't really believe in um, just putting them on my shelf. That's just me because I spend a lot of money on them and I would rather use them. And yeah, I don't really have plans on reselling them. Or if I do, I'll get some money back. But I'm not trying to make a profit or anything. And it's fun to use these American or these old American made knives. Alrighty, I think that is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, I'm filming in my car right now, so it's kind of a makeshift little uh, knife lab, but that's it. All right, see you guys.